All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go back here for yet another cast here. This is going to be D-Ranks, all kill, oh no, sorry, hey, King of Thrones, man, I keep on mixing up those leaks. I'm um, in the top right hand corner. Um, it'll be the White Protoss, Ella Master or Bappa, whatever you really want to call him. I think Ella Master is probably the more well-known username of this guy, aka if, if you will. And then the bottom right hand corner as our Red Terran, it will be none other than our awesome, awesome, I think six game streak or five game streak. I think that this will be six game, I believe, in a row. It will be uh, Oh, let's go right here. Uh, the map will be Jade, and this is going to be pretty entertaining here. And guys, I have uh, something pretty entertaining to show you. Check up in the top left-hand corner. We have production tabs. Um, you know, there, there's a long story that goes along with this, and honestly, it's something that I probably should tell you right now. So pretty much what, what, what you guys are viewing at is a mixture of a overlay with an exploit hack with um, well, the exploit well, so pretty much you have to, I had to make a virtual camera on my desktop to capture Brood War. Then I had to, you know, implement the full this widescreen mod called Resolution Expander. And then this this new mod just recently came out, which is like the production tabs, and I wanted to incorporate that. And now I kind of had to figure that out and tinker with it for a while. And uh, now it's working. Uh, the one thing though that uh, doesn't work out perfectly with it is the is the how do you say the the bars um, right away because the refresh rate of the game is different than this um, unless you're playing in like actual like full screen mode without any, this other hack but it, it kind of just gives us a nice little glance at it, a nice little graphical overlay of what it um, actually is so I thought I would keep it in I think it's nice to have um, tell me how you guys think of it in the comments below obviously rate comment subscribe and all that other fun stuff but um, yeah kind of wanted to share that with you I did run into some more technical difficulties um, the the new launcher that uses this um, this um, overlay on the top um, actually wasn't finding replays. It was like it would always open up the same um, replay, and it was funny because um, I went through halfway through a game until realizing I wasn't. I didn't check the actual player names, and I realized, oh shit, I'm playing. It, it had me versus some other dude. Actually, I don't. I don't even know. It might have been even been Babo. Um, of, of all things, but I don't actually remember anything. But anyway, game of the game because these guys deserve to get casted. Um, we will have a standard 2 gate goon um, play out here. Uh, very, very standard. Nothing too, too crazy going on for them. Uh, we will have a one rack FE, it appears, uh, on Jade. This is um, definitely risky, um, especially with the 2 gate goon coming out. Um, it is Jade. You know, you, you know, it, you know, it's a fairly big map. It's not the largest map possible, um, but you know, it's definitely not something that's. I mean, a 2 gate it's not going to be the easiest thing to hold off with a, just with a one rack FE. Um, we'll see how he can hold. Um, he will start immediately that bunker. Um, the issue that you run into, though, is you have to put a depot right here. So really, the goons can't get through. The, the problem, though, is if you, put a, if you put it... Well, I guess you don't have to, but... The problem by putting a uh, depot here is that uh, goons with, with the goon range can just kill it off and supply block you. Um, so it, it, it's very... I don't tend to, I would generally tight wall on this ramp if I was to play on this map. I, I honestly don't have a perfect build order as Terran to really deal with this, um, this pressure that's going on. So we'll definitely see how it goes on. We'll see if the two gate goon will actually be super effective or not. We do have the goon range again coming up right there. Um, and all that fun stuff right there. And also if we press F6, we get a, we get a tab of all that fun of goodiness of uh, pros and stuff like that. Um, but. Uh, Production tab is pretty boss right now. Getting up the two factories right now to do all that fun stuff. Um, so we'll be getting out as many mechanisms units really as fast as possible. Um, two factories is early. You know that this is going to be something that's going to be really interesting for the for the future casting because I don't think I'm going to be casting uh, anything else like this unless it's going to be some kind of um, 4v4 um, something like that but even that the production tab should sh come up for all, all the players so uh, we'll definitely see how it um, how this casting evolves and also if you guys di didn't um, understand these numbers on the nexuses and the gas it just means how many people are on gas um, they did count and now these dudes are have you have boom range right now so it is problematic um, that he doesn't have his tanks out yet um, it's just finishing this up right now and the machine shop's coming up. Uh, we do have the Nexus coming down right now as well. 
for our buddies right here. And just continuing to be aggressive right here. Um, you know, really playing a lot of SCVs right here, trying to defend right now. That, and he will lose the Marine right here. Um, this is an issue, again, with doing the one racks. Um, if he really kind of have to hold on to the bunker, if it falls, which it might, it might just fall down, which it would be... Okay, no, there it goes. He's going to get enough SCVs on it. Um, however, he doesn't know that he could probably just target fire these SCVs now. Um, it looks like he's not really paying much attention to that. He will be getting siege mode. No tanks are on the way right now, though. Um, and I'm a little surprised, though, because this amount of goons are going to be able to barrel his way through this right now. Um, what's his name? Um, Obelisco's in actually a lot of trouble right now. Um, and it's, it, it's actually very interesting because he's played so well. And then it's just... Yeah, this is where the point where it's just kind of... Marines, I guess, will do a good amount of damage on this. Um, he may lose a goon. But if he just target fire correctly on the SCVs, he's going to do a he's going to do a good amount of economic econ damage. I mean, enough for the enough for his nexus finish. I mean, if you could just tell up here, his nexus is finishing right now anyway. Um, so it's gonna you know, Obelisco, even if he holds this up, which you know it looks like he might, is it in an optimal situation? Because I mean, L Master is just like, well, I'm just gonna two gate goon you, and you, well, sorry, brah, but you're gonna take a ton of SCP kills. Uh, I mean, look at that, 20 to 14 probes, I mean, I mean, in the whole point of this build is to get an economic lead, and Obelisco is really having a lot of difficulty right here, you know, following this back up, you know, he has his ops out, um, coming down, and really not producing a whole lot, you're only seeing one tank being produced, but he's not even building SCVs, he's simply just not building SCVs, he can't even build his barracks, he, uh, And the problem is the tank coming on the low ground if he starts to start shelling away. Um, I'm still surprised this bunker's still alive though. Is that really a very interesting choice from uh Ella Master just playing it a very extra um, very cautiously, not uh, not opting to barrel his way through. Um do I think he could have gone through? Um I think he could have. I think he could have gone around the bunker, gone around the mineral line, and then his way back in the main base and just caused havoc that way. Um, now that's just what I predict. Um, is that true? No, probably not. Because I'm a caster and I probably say a whole bunch of random shit that's not true. We have three more gateways on the, on the end route. That is definitely, is that actually 12? Oh, this is actually, this is actually, this is such a weird perspective. That's like way more, that's like 14. Okay, there's 14, that's 11. Okay, so, you know, whatever. Um, we do have a Citadel going up right now um, as well, so it looks like... I don't even know. I don't know. Um, it could be two base arbiters. Um, if if he's not following up with another expansion, which... Um, no, he's doing it. It looks like... You you guys can't tell the minerals, but... Um, yeah, he's not sitting up right now, but it's definitely looking by the position of that probe. It looks like he's definitely doing that right now. And, uh, yeah. I'm showing you what, what our unit tabs are looking like right now. Um, because I really love this, love this, um, 10 goons, just, just, that's all it is, versus, like, oh, no, three, there's three zealots, versus two tanks, um, I'm, I'm a little worried for a build go right now, um, uh, and, you know, that's kind of what really sucks about this, this, um, this tournament, um, you know, there's, there's no, I mean, this, this, this whole tournament's essentially bragging rights, that's really all this has come down to, but, you know, what, what, what really is interesting is that, um, you know, Obelisco has won five games, but, I mean, does that matter? Well, I mean, if you lose a game, you're just knocked out. Um, I'm not sure about the rule about reapplying, but I think you have to go through the entire player roster. Um, that ever-growing ever -growing list of D-ranked players, uh, you're gonna have to... Um, yeah, you know, the ever-growing, yeah, ever-growing amount of D-ranked players are coming up. Um, you know, that's going to take a while for Abelisco to actually get back in this tournament. Um, I mean, I'm not really sure if it's, like, the most prestigious tournament you ever want to join, but, you know, the fact of the point is that, well, yeah. Um, now, Terran's putting something sneaky. He's getting an armory up right now. Um, nothing super special going on right now um, from either player. Uh, he, you know, he's up to, you know, a solid seven gateway count. Um... He's getting shuttled, so he's actually gearing up to what it appears to be to apply some pressure right here. As he's now at 400 minerals, there goes down the expo um, immediately. Um, this shuttle is purely to get the um, 
to do zealot bombing because um it will be annoying to uh but i don't even know if zealot bombing is even going to be effective um i mean with two turrets shuttles do die I mean, pretty quickly right here, but we do have the Goon Task Force moving across the map here. Plus one will definitely not be done. I love how it just disappeared. There you go. Kind of fun to like, go over this because it just randomly disappears. But, um, you know, Protoss is off a three base right now. Um, really starting to put on some aggression right now. Uh, off of seven gates. Um, I believe, did he get leg speed? I'm probably sure he did. Because you guys can tell now. Paying attention to that. Um, so he's gonna try to barrel his way through here. Just gonna probably get some scouting information right now. No, he's not even gonna use the shuttle right now. Is there stuff in the shuttle? No, there's not, but he doesn't care. Uh, this, this, I mean, there's really nothing for a build to go right here right now. Uh, and he's just gonna barrel his way through down here. Um, and I'll, I mean, we're just looking at this. Um, I mean, <laughs> we have no units really for um, Belsco. Um, I mean, he has higher SAVs, um, which is now, nope, never mind, they're gone. GG by Obelisco, um, and that was very entertaining. Um, you know, for for everyone that was, um, I was, um, if if at the beginning part of the cast, if I was getting too off topic, hopefully I wasn't. I I, I apologize for that. Um, and I'm still kind of getting used to this new casting gear situation, but it works. Um, when it does work, it works really good. And when I was watching myself. I was watching one of my early casts, I'm like, wow, this looks really cool. I wish I was actually a viewer, not a caster. Because I would watch this endlessly all day. But the fact of the matter is, game 11 will be coming up shortly. I'm going to upload YouTube tonight, and then we're done. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Stay, uh, stay tuned for more D-Ranks. D Some more D-Ranks. King of the Hill. King of Thrones.